What is happening at this moment at the Saporizhia nuclear power plant? You can't find all the in answers right there, and the question is not in diplomacy. Why do we even need to talk about the power plant? Because it's quite simple. There's a diplomatic dialogue in it that's only happening right now with IAEA be between them and Russia. So what's the purpose of that? What do we need to use that for? IAEA communicating with Russia. It is our power plant, which mined by Russian military. And at this moment, technical staff, they're working on the power plant. It's our people and about 500 terrorists are walking there. These are Russian soldiers. So the representatives of IAEA, IAEA tell them, the Russians, that is, if you don't want to give this power plant to Ukraine, then take your soldiers out of this place, give control to us, and our representatives and our staff will take care of the nuclear power plant. So answer me, is this a deep diplomatic way that to make sure that Ukraine is not trying to take over the nuclear power plant by force? It's our own power plant. Okay, the IAEA is ready, but Russians are not leaving this nuclear power plant. International representatives are asking, we just want to turn these power plants on for using it for people so that they would have electricity and it would be generated from this power and it can direct power to Europe because we're connected to the European electrical grid. And this is the way. This is our second question. The inflation on the energy of electricity. What created this inflation of electricity? It's Russians. They made it on purpose. They captured the nuclear power plant. They created a deficit of electricity. This is why it has become more expensive. Answer me, what kind of other diplomatic way should we be using? At this moment, nobody can blame Ukraine. We haven't blocked anything. We haven't mined anything in opposite directions, blocking everything to the world's okay right now. So we can even talk about grain exporting. Who's communicating with the Russians? Are the Ukrainians communicating with Russia? No. We know it's people who like Erdogan and Gutierrez, and both of them are in shock how to deal with Russia. And that's because Russia every day is creating a situation for the front line of ships where they're holding 10 or 20 ships hostage. They're not moving. That way the grain would not be exporting. But what about us? We have no control on this way, this, so, this quarter, this sea. Russia invaded and they have occupied this part of the sea. They have control over it and they have control over our waters, our territory in the Black Sea. So when I hear that somebody's talking about escalation and diplomacy, then we need to try everything possible in all the ways. Okay, I don't understand it. There are people in the world who are responsible for this. The IAEA, technically, they're responsible for all nuclear power plants, for the safety of all nuclear power plants, and coordinating from the two sides. One side is a country where the power plant is located, and the other side is the invader. What about Ukraine? We gave possibility to do everything needed for solving the situation. We gave access to the organization, to the IAEA. We gave them representatives for communicating with Russia about this. And what do we have? Sick minds, sick people. Russia cannot make an agreement with anybody. U.S., U.N., IEA, nothing's going to work. That's what we have.